Chris here with Arsenal Extraordinaire Dave Gibbons and we are lucky enough to be in his study where he creates all his magic. Uh, so Dave, thanks for having us in. You're very welcome. It's not normally a very lonely place. It's just, just me here. So it's nice to have a visitor, Chris. I've only been in here actually uh, all about a year and a half uh, or something. It's a converted garage, converted mm -hmm. double garage. And I planned it all out so that I had enough shelves for all my books. And I've still got, as you can see, lots of um, unpacked boxes. This is my sh my shelf of wonder. It's loosely uh, kind of classified by books about art, books about artists that I love, you know, fine artists and comic book artists and illustrators, books about how to draw comics. The, reprinted EC collection, all the horrid science fiction comics, Mad Magazine, which I love. I do love models and sculptures, so these, these are the ones I've got. These are really anatomical reference figures. They are, they are very good reference. This is the only prop that I wanted from the Watchmen movie. This is the, this is the Night Owl statue. This is the Hugo Award that Alan Moore and I won for Watchmen. Alan, I believe, took his and put it in the garden upside down and used it as a bird table. And here's a weird little Rorschach thing that somebody sculpted from, it's like a Rorschach penguin, I don't know. This is the kind of corner that I'm normally sat in. As you can see, most stuff in comics is, is done on the computer these days. This is actually um, a cover for um, a new collection of Dan Dare stories that I drew all those years ago for 2000 AD that have never been collected before. So. This is just a peek at the, the unfinished, uncoloured version of it. Most of the Watchmen artwork I sold many, many years ago. And that's a cover for a role-playing game. That's that's the comedian. Next to it is a smiley button of which, you know, there are all sorts of versions, but that is actually the smiley button from the movie. They made about six of those and they cost three or four thousand dollars each to make. They're all hand painted and they're ultra high resolution printing. So they still look good on an IMAX screen. Underneath that, that is the um, the back of the director's chair that I had on the set of the Watchmen movie. I was only there for a couple of days. I had this memory of being about seven years old at school and the art teacher said, okay, you can draw whatever you like today. And the teacher came around and looked at what I drew and, she, and I remember saying, oh, this is interesting, David, uh, what is it? I said, oh, it's, it's a man in a space suit. She said, oh, what's he doing? I said, he's not doing anything. He's been manacled to an asteroid and left to die. And what this actually was, was my swipe from Jack Kirby, who illustrated amongst the thousands of other comics he did, a comic book called Race for the Moon. I had every issue of it. There weren't many issues of it. I, I later got all the American versions of it. I, was, I found out that my friends at Titan Books were gonna reprint all these Race for the Moon stories. And I said, you must let me write the introduction for the science fiction one. And then the editor phoned me up and said, oh, Dave, now that we've printed this book, we've scanned all the original artwork. So that was my holy grail piece that lodged in my memory at the age of seven. And that is now the original, drawn by Jack Kirby, inked by Al Williamson, who in his own right is an incredible artist. Thank, Thank you for letting us into your home and your world. I mean, yeah. I hope I haven't revealed any great secrets or no. shattered anybody's illusions, but. This is the reality of it, folks. Yeah, yeah. So th <laughs> thanks for watching this little tour, and I'm going to go and loot these uh, I know you're shelves not. if I can. Because uh, I'll have to use the Kung Fu on you then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, and keep it right here on IGN for all your superhero needs.